नमस्ते आई सिमरन कौशल वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस विद ओनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सीजन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट्स दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड अ यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्पर एंड स्किल्स साइंस विच इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस and technology to the discussion of the previous year questions and potential concepts which are important from the perspective of competitive exams let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to introduce to a science expert dr tv venkateshwaran who is here with us to answer the questions Dr. Devi Venkateshwaran is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, the first question for today is Anti-satellite weapon as the name clearly suggests are uh, arsenals. which are expected to uh, decommission uh, the uh, space efforts okay and we all know that uh, many countries are launching what can be called as uh, spy satellites or even some of the remote sensing satellites can provide uh, uh, intelligence information to uh, uh, various countries okay so uh, when you are threatened the idea is that uh, perhaps you may have to uh, neutralize your uh, enemy country's uh, space assets so that uh, you will be protected uh, in the war right so the, this is uh, uh, a concept that uh, had emerged uh, weaponizing space and then uh, targeting satellite uh, commenced about 2 3 decades ago when uh, united states uh, mooted this concept of star wars Uh, that was during the regan's uh, presidency uh, there were a lot of criticism around the world that we should not extend uh, weaponizing uh, to uh, outer space but in absence of a verifiable international treaties uh, many countries are uh, under the assumption that uh, they will have to mend for themselves and are building up their capacities to destroy space assets of uh, their potential uh, enemies in india for example uh, we have uh, constructed a mission called mission shakti uh, which has successfully tested launching a ballistic missile against a decommissioned isro satellite that uh, practical live uh, attempt was made to uh, ensure that our systems are able to uh, destroy uh, space assets if it's required in same way for example uh, uh, russia has also uh, tried out uh, actually uh, uh, destroying one of its uh, space assets many countries including china uh, us of course have uh, attempted this uh, uh, destroying space assets and then trying out their uh, missiles whether it will work in space uh, this uh, concept uh, is uh, idea that uh, in case of war the uh, space assets would be giving intelligence information to your enemy country and if you want to stop it and win a war perhaps at some time you may have to uh, neutralize some of these space assets and that's how this uh, uh, these things are being attempted will it uh, bring in uh, a war to the space uh, in a sense yes uh, in a sense is that uh, space assets would be now uh, threatened uh, including peaceful uh, space assets could be uh, threatened it can be threatened directly or indirectly in the sense that uh, uh, let's say for example debris from one of these uh, destroyed space asset could be uncontrollably moving in the space and then hit somebody else uh, satellite so uh, the uh, threat of uh, creating more space junk and with that uh, creating more threat to uh, space assets of different countries uh, become enlarged due to this uh, uh, effort which is taking place in the contemporary times